There's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to have the skill set to master the science of boxing. But the reason why I do anything that we do out here in social media is to enlighten you that there are many other layers to developing a skill set, one such as the Philly Shell, which you'll soon see a, a segment that we've done specifically for this apparent show of It's Time to Box. For those of you who've never had an opportunity to be groomed in a manner by an elite program, this is what you're going to learn here. The first thing is that it takes more than just a skill. And what exactly does that mean? The first thing that it means is there are different algorithms in which you must bring into the ring. And so you're going to learn some of the key tactics and methods that we use when it comes to building an athlete line by line, layer by layer. And no, this is not something you can pick up on the fly and you definitely can't pick it up and, and master it on YouTube. So if that's what your premise is, forget about it. The stuff that you're learning from YouTube, guys had to actually get to that level. And the other things that are done correctly that you're seeing have other things tied to it to build and groom that muscle memory so that they can even get to a point where they're worthy of even showing or displaying. Now, don't get it twisted. Sometimes you can see people who are athletic and they can hide their deficiencies. That's what I was saying. But the fact of the matter is this. When you're teaching someone a skill set like the Philly Shell, shoulders, elbows, arm, hips, knees, all of these things come into play, hand, you must understand that there's a, a certain dexterity that has to be built up. And then there's a certain mentality that you have to actually develop. And that just can't be done in the living room of your home. There are drills. So what we're gonna do is give you a little peep inside of what does truly go into building an athlete's skill set and then his mental prowess to execute it inside of the ring. There's so many amazing things that you will take away, but this is more like a kindergarten version of what it looks like when you're standing around practicing in the mirror, all of the things that you're missing out on so my advice to you is to make sure before you begin doing anything, make sure it's up to you what type of program you develop and get into. That's fine. Just make sure they cover all the bases and check all the boxes. That's our mission is to make sure that the coaches that are coming out in this generation are being groomed to teach the proper methods and that's what we're doing in the school of boxing so without any further ado it's time to box Lunch. And I'm here. And when 
when I get ready to go out there, it's a real, this is a shell. You know, at the same time, I'm in a defensive posture, but I'm in an offensive posture too. And he can tell the difference between this posture and this. Logan. Okay, and that language was nowhere. Okay, and from that point, as soon as you get in range, I'm going to pop, pop, and get ready for him again. You know, not only is going to pop that, I'm going to come here, and then I'm going to keep my exercise. Like, when he ain't even ready to throw the right hand in the middle hook, I'm getting my reps, so when he do throw it, I'm going to be ready to counter him. I'm going to pop, 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 and I'm going to hit him. So while he's not throwing, he got to get warm. He got to figure out my defense. He got to figure out my timing. While he's doing it, I'm getting the reps. So I'm going to it's an exercise. And look at my sense of urgency. Round one. Like, and I'm going to just tell y'all, what y'all just did is what's wrong with the game. You was in there like you waiting for your social security check. Walking around like, man, <laughs> you don't learn from one thing and you don't carry it to the same wrong thing until the next time you get a chance to do something. You don't, you cannot win in this. You find guys who come out like this opportunity. They thinking about the, that being a hundred air, which is where you are with this shit, a thousand air or a million air, okay? That's how you coming out. Yeah, yeah four or five hundred dollars. I don't care, six or seven thousand, I'll do this, I care. A money man. I care. I want it. All right? That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a point. Like, I'm in front of millions of people every week, right? And if I show them that language, I always give them the level one, tier one. And then I show them what I look like in fight mode. They see that show of shit, they don't they know dang it. You get what I'm saying? You might not run from a cat. You're gonna run from a lion, okay? That's that's for sure. That's what you guys gotta carry. Y'all ain't in lifetime fitness, right? I don't wanna ever see that language in the ring when hands are going. Unless I'm saying, do it that way, because this ain't no rhythm. This ain't no rhythm that you gotta get in there and bump with somebody trying to get out of the projects, right? or change their life. Because for me, I'm looking at, I'm like, I'm gonna eat this dude. He ain't gonna be able to get outside around one. That's how I'm going in there. And look at how people like Floyd started to fight. Pop! Round one. Punch you in the face way harder than you thought you was gonna get hit. I'm not playing. You playing. Get it? So, when you get in here, you do it like, I'm here, you know, just, you, you don't want, you ready to fight, you get what I'm saying, don't get me yourself, you know what I'm saying, cuz, how you gonna be the 27 year old me, get it, your objective is to see your guy, your instructor, and he's giving you the level to play at, I'm showing you how to operate there. So I switch that algorithm right there without me saying it. I ain't no person gonna be screaming in the car. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that shit. So when you try to get in there and if somebody else is inside of you, and he might like say you the whole time for the hardest punch you ever been hit with, and disguising it, you playing along with it, with that body language. I don't like that. So take it serious. Inside of the box, we try to diffuse that. So that's why we got a box. So you won't take the shit you're doing there. You take this and the there. Not the shit you did here and the here. You take what you do here with that heat and the tensions of the punches that you bring in here. That's what you call progression. So let's see what you're going to do with this. All right? Work time.
box, that's it. Inside of that box, boy, you think about it, that was plugging right into the ear. You can't get out with that shot. But decent other spots. You don't care about the body in outdoors. Every time you hear it, you there. Every time. You hear it, go here, go here, try the other side. Soon you're gonna make the adjustment, all right? So first half, decent. Still back go right here too much. And what that says, you ain't got this up. You ain't really got it. You ain't really tough. You ain't really rolling. You ain't serious enough. When you go up under that armpit and you come up, that shot. And if you young cut caught with that once, that means don't even go there. Go ahead and don't ride low. When you turn that bam, bam, pop, we do that all the time, right? I do enough videos, so that's there. So that's why when you're teaching them guys, you make sure that they don't set themselves. You got some portals. That's, if, if he's 30 pounds heavier and he's with that, that's a whole different, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, that's, a, that's the most vulnerable side. All his weight. Disorientated. Boom. Yeah. Keep him from a light shot and stuff. He's crunching down. So when you do that crouch, you don't have to count. Yeah, yeah. That's that way. You can see it. You come. That's what I want to see you doing from now on. Good work with that. Let's get ready to That was good. So what we did get done was our objective was to make sure that when you did what you did with the execution of your stuff, your footwork, that you were able to see it, execute it, and demonstrate it. The four key points, you're able to make a pivot. You're able to make a drop and roll. You're able to do a weave. And off of the pivot, you're able to do that as well. Those are the key essentials becoming a master footwork instructor. So with that being said, you have passed that test and it's been long overdue, but now you understand being a part of a practical teaching is so much more important than just seeing it. Now you're able to feel it. Now you're able to transition. I'm sure when you land back in Hong Kong, you'll be able to take something there that was not there now. Now you're able to really show them the essence of a master whenever you're instructing. So this will be a good reminder to everything that you've done while you was here. Presenting oh. you with the instruction as a master footwork instructor. Got them finally. It's all good now. You can hang this on your wall with some pride. And you travel halfway around the world to get this. But this is what it takes to get you to the next level. Sacrifice and validity. Being locked in and letting nothing stop you. And Jonathan Fong, let nothing stop him from getting this. So congratulations from the top of Master Boxing on down. We're proud to have you on board at Master Boxing. This is now I hope you had an immense takeaway. And as you see, the program is educational. Not only do we take you through layers of developing the masterful footwork, which we offer, there's a different layer of skills, skill sets. And as you continue to build onto your boxing prowess, you start to learn their wrinkles and crafts and theory and concepts. Yes, you must understand that, but overall you have to build the dexterity of the body. That's all for now, but remember the key takeaway is to make sure that you're tied to a program that really gives you the complete teachings because once you start to learn the right way, you're going to realize the undertaking that boxing truly delivers. So until next time, continue blessings and be blessed at God's speed. I'm Eric A. Bradley signing out. Until next time, that it's time to box, great practice, and surround yourself with like-minded people. So long. And congratulations to those of you who've jumped into the school of boxing, because I know now that the sport of boxing will be in a much better place. That's our narrative. Peace, and be sure to follow Master Boxing across the board. Needless to say, peace.